look at that. She put her at her Twitter name, so you know who she is. So she looks like she's got every single entry, and the next entry has won. So if there, if, if so, if Valerie was drawing today, who do you think would probably win? <laughs> now, yeah, <coughs> Joyful Girl may win because you never know. It only takes one to win, yeah. but odds are it would be Bridget. So that's that's a little more on the um, how you would see that. Okay, and then you can go through. Look at she's got a slang kit. She's got all kinds of things. She's got a lot of books. Oh, if you like reading, this is if you want some books.
and consumer-generated media. So what I'm going to do is I've got examples of each of these, so you can see the types of forms. Oh, actually, here's open. I'll show you right now. Open loop and closed loop. I got ahead of myself. This is one wonder list. It's an open loop. If you refer somebody, right? You see how it says enter your friends' addresses below. If you enter ten friends, then you get ten extra entries. They don't have to enter. But they have to be legitimate email addresses. You just can't make them up. Right? Bounce backs don't work. Sorry, did you say they don't have to enter? They, they don't open loop means they don't have to enter. But they will be contacted. Yeah, yeah, they'll get an email saying then um, Well here, I'll I'll do one. Okay, here I'll do one. So I just hit RoboForm to fill it out. Right? So I'm gonna do my other email address. Remember me? Because I also go back and enter my 
my husband and if it remembered me, I'd have to unlog me and then log him and she's kind of a huge pain in the neck. I'm humming and hawing between these two, so one time I enter for this one and one time I enter for that one. Mm -hmm. Which one today? The stars and circles? Circles. Oh, circles, there we go. Oh, I think I just picked a different rug. Oh, well. <coughs> That'll be, yeah, to watch today, I'll win. I had somebody tell me that. They ran this contest last year, and her son made her click on this hideous red rug, and then she won. <laughs> and she's like, no! How could I have that happen? So, nothing today. And sometimes, actually, you can hit extra entries. They call that a prize, but... Yeah. I, you know how? You know what drives me nuts? They call coupons prizes. Hey, you want $10 off. What? Yeah. That's not a prize. Don't call it a prize, call it a discount or a, you know, a bonus purchase offer or something. But it's not a prize. I didn't win a coupon. Right? At least these guys give you a coupon and call it a coupon. So, so that's instant win. So that's the other kind you're going to look for. These are the pin codes. Now, God bless my husband who went to Pizza Pizza. And we got a pin code off the pizza pizza slice to win. Again, this is one of those sites that you sign up for. And
So then we had to go digging through the box to find the pin code, but we knew which one it was because they had given us the ones. So we knew what we were looking for. And then he, he took a copy of it before sending off the original and then sent it. So that's another tip, by the way. If you get... Did they say that in the room? You know what? I don't think they do in the Coke, but... If it's a bigger price, there's a good chance that they'll ask for the pins. Yeah. Like, you know, they didn't ask us for the pins. We probably wanted about a dozen coupons for a right. free bottle of uh, green tea ginger yeah. ale. They didn't ask for the pins on those ones, but for the larger prices, they typically right. will. Yeah. Okay, let's enter a contest on Facebook. Now we're looking for a really specific line in the rules. Yeah, see? This is what, one of the tips I said. This is the first time I've ever seen it. We strongly recommended the potential winner photocopy all documents prior to sending them. And send them in re insured registered mail. So when Craig won the trip to the Olympics, I made him scan all the paperwork and keep a copy. For two reasons. One, I like to keep a set of everything in my win box because then that way if I feel lucky, you know, I can go back and look. And if we ever have a problem, we can go back and we have proof. Um, it doesn't, I cannot see. See, now here's that publicity one. I can't see anything in here about keeping the lid, but you know what, I'm pretty, I'm scanning it. I'd have to sit and actually read them. I keep the lids anyway, just in case. So let's go to the Olympics again. Wouldn't that be funny if I won? <laughs> How would you do that? <laughs> well, the chances of our... It's probably different timing. It's different probably timing. Different timing. So I would go to the Olympics, and then I would come back, and go okay. back to the Olympics. <laughs> insane like that. I can win two prizes to the same thing. Why not? And look, I have one entry. Only takes one, one to win. <laughs>
that they didn't collect and went to that, that they put certain pieces in certain parts of the country and other pieces in other parts of the country. So unless you had unless you happen to travel, it was impossible for you to win. So some guy posted in one of the papers, if anybody's got a piece, we'll share it. So some guy had one piece, he had the other, they claimed the prize. The company shocked, how can you claim the prize? Because we weren't supposed to have been able to win. Okay. Yeah, which court? And I bet you, I, be, I don't know the details, but I bet you that one went to court, especially in the U.S., because that is completely illegal to make it impossible for people to win. Not to mention the fact that now people travel so much. Who says I didn't eat at McDonald's in Vancouver and in Halifax in the same week because I'm an on-the-road salesperson? You don't know what I do. But the same thing was with the cars from uh, Tim Martins a few years ago. People didn't read the fine print. They didn't win the car. They won use of the car for one year. And they only changed that a couple of years ago because there was so much outrage about that that one of the people that thought they won the car didn't find out until they went to claim it from the dealer said, no, 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 it's not your car. You get to use it for a year. So, yeah, yeah, I wouldn't be impressed. <laughs> so the next type is, well, Joe already showed a little bit about the Elmers, but these are the Elmers. Uh, Elmers. Am I not pronouncing that right? Elmers. The, but this is a win your dream bathroom. American Standard is doing it. It ends at the end of the month. Now, what's really interesting about this one is many people think they have to have the ugliest bathroom to win, but you only have to have the most compelling reason to win, and it's judged, and it's actually judged by um, Sacconi Simone. And there are the two women that own that design firm. And what you do is you submit a, a video with a one minute narrated video, because even most cameras, by the way, who here owns a, a, a like a little flip camera or video camera? Let's see, so, but who here owns a digital camera, mm -hmm. right? Most digital cameras will allow you to film short videos. Yeah. So you can just use that to enter this type of promotion. You don't have to win a specific video camera to enter these. So if you turn around and enter this type of promotion, Right? The odds are going to be, the entries are going to be lower and because it's judged. So take the time and, you know, read the rules. Because like I said, this isn't the ugliest bathroom. This is the most compelling reason why they should come and redo your bathroom. Right? So if you've got a great story, a funny sense of humor, you know, anything that could compel them to do that, make your little video and submit it and you could win. And it ends on the 30th, so there's still time to enter. So, these are, so there's all different types of promotions to enter. That's the point I'm making. So if you're better at video than other people, your odds of winning. Here's another one. Now this one's kind of interesting. It's to the Olympics. You and a partner have to enter. You can't enter alone. So you have to find a buddy. Someone that's willing to go with you to the Olympics. Okay? No, I don't think you have to skate. <laughs> so right here, they give above the contest, which is great because it's another short version of the rules. So it tells you how to enter. First, find a friend. Submissions must come in from a team of two. Put your heads together, create a video that will wow us. And it's got to be fresh and original. So... And it tells you to go to the seventh. And down here it tells you the judges are looking for originality, quality, number of views, and the content you generate. Right? And the winning team when the, and the winning team will go to Vancouver. So look at that. So on top of the trip to the Olympics, the two members will receive five thousand dollars on top of that. Nice. And the way the prices are going to be in Vancouver, I bet you that'll just cover this. <laughs> <laughs> so you can see how many entries are in so far. If you want to see what your competition's like. Most recent, look at this. There's only two pages. What is that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13 entries. Who wants to go to the Olympics? Put your heads together and get something in. The odds are phenomenal. We saw that with the Elmer's one. How many entries were in 
that one? I think there was an eleven. There should be another eighteen entries after today <laughs> into those ones. Okay. So you want to get your entries into those because you never know what can win. And, the, and you want to talk about good odds. The odds on these ones are phenomenal. Like Craig said, the 15 million entries into the one he won. This has got 13. 13. <laughs> and is this voted by people looking and picking their favorite then or by them? Um, a both. bit of both. Okay. But this is where having contest buddies come in. Now, with only 14 entries, I bet you if you were a member of some of the contest sites, chances are 99.9% .9 of those people have not entered, you can go and ask for votes. And say, you know what, I, I don't see any of my fellow contesters on there. If you have a moment, please go vote for my entry. And off you go. So that's another way. So now that it's 2.30, why don't we take a break? I know it's a lot to absorb, the different types of entries and things that are, are that. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll do a whack of draws. I think we need some prizes. Yeah, 15 minutes. So you have enough time to run to Timmy's and Starbucks to wherever you want. Maybe you have to do. Okay. 